Sorry, I already know what's coming. Hi, Shay, thanks for joining us. We're gonna start with Jeff Metcalf and then Alex Simon. Shay, this game had a little bit of a, of a feel like the playoffs last year when you know you had such a big role. Um, what did it seem like to you and, and, and what was it like that second half getting out there and having, uh, you know, playing with Skyler such an important role? Um, I think I just tried to just be aggressive, look for my shots, and most importantly, just bring my defense, especially when Sophie went down the second half. I knew I needed to step up and, you know, help take the load off of Sky. So I really was just trying to just focus on defense, uh, sticking whoever I was guarding, making sure I got him out the paint and was giving Sky a break on the offensive end, um, taking my shots when I could and just trying to be aggressive, aggressive on both ends of the floor. And the defense seemed to be uh, sort of permeate the whole team tonight. I mean, Sky had a bunch of steals and Brianna Turner was playing great against Stewart. Um, it just seemed like that was maybe the key to the whole game tonight. No, definitely. I, we locked in um, from tip ball to the end of the game. Um, what Breezy did tonight on Stewie was a hell of a job. Defensive player of the year, Canada, for sure. And even Sky, you know, Roy's a great player, and Sky went in there and limited her shots or her mates as much as she could. Um, and we just set out for them, you know, when our two players are locked in like that. We all just got to feed in and just give off energy and just be aggressive and just um, make it harder for them. Next up is Alex Simon, followed by Danny Thompson. Hi, Shay. I actually kind of wanted to follow up on Sky's defense in particular because everybody can focus on what she does offensively. But I mean, not only is she getting steals the way you know you guys were getting, but she's also pretty darn good at coming down and picking up a couple blocks. She had more blocks than even BG and Breezy tonight. What when when you've played with her now, like you have for you know almost a full calendar year's worth of games, just what did you learn about her on the defensive end in particular? Um, she takes pride in her defense. Obviously, you guys know how aggressive and she is on the offensive end, but Sky wants to take the best guard on every team, day in and day out. Like, she's not scared of the challenge. Um, and even her blocks, like, she's a big guard, you know, a, a little big guard. She's going to get in there. She's going to make it tough. She's not scared to get, you know, hit and, and rumbled up a little bit. So I, I think, you know, just watching her, you know, obviously she puts in the work in on offense. But she really locks in and, and takes pride and, and wants to stop the best player on the team day in and day out. Obviously, Sky, BG, Kia are all going to be heading to Tokyo here. But for obviously now with Sophie out as well, you and a few of the other players who are going to have the month between games, do you kind of look at knowing you may only have seven, maybe eight if Diana plays on Sunday and say, run us until the wheels fall off to some extent because we can we can take the time to relax for a bit yeah i mean we, no matter how many bodies we have we all know we, we got to step up i think everybody coming off the bench just has like next up mentality um if you know sophie can go she can go but if not we still have players on the bench and as long as we have enough to get on the court and you know not forfeit the game it don't, it don't matter who's out there we all just know we got to bring it bring it bring it and want to and want to end the this first half of the season on a good note. You know, you don't want to go into the break with a bad taste in your mouth. So just, just got to go out there and just bring it again. Our last question will be with Danny Thompson. Hey, Danny Thompson, three point conversion, outstanding game tonight. Two quick ones. Number one, you talk about how you're playing with Scholar in the defensive end. It seemed like when she was getting a steal, you would get one right back. It seemed like y'all were going back and forth. Y'all both combined for seven steals tonight. Is it something about playing with somebody that just elevates your game like Skylar does to make you do things at a higher level or you just have to keep up with her? And the second thing is, um, it seems like this team plays the best basketball this season when adversity happens. Wednesday, we find out Diana doesn't play right before tip off. Tonight, you don't have Diana. Alana's gone and Sophie goes down. And you guys have played the two best games of the season. Is it something about adversity that just drives this team something? And I guess a question about Skylar. Uh, well, the first question, I mean, when you're playing against, you know, an Olympian, a uh, future Hall of Famer, you have to elevate your game. Like, you you can't have them just going out there giving your all and then me be her backup or her, her counter and, and slack off. So I know before every game, we always talk about, like, hey, we can really get up in there. We can really, like, you know, get some get some steals, get in the passing lane. And we always try to give ourselves a goal of how many steals we, we can get combined. And today we just showed it. Like, you know, when, when she's out there, get her still, all right, my turn. You know, it, it's like a, a friendly competition. Like, you know, she got to still, okay, I, I need to get still. She got a deflection, okay, I need to get a deflection. 
and that that's just the chemistry we have and, and the bond and, and competitiveness you know we're able to do that in the game but still not take away from what we're doing as a team on defense um and, and yeah, I mean, adversity builds character. You know, we we know we're gonna have our ups and our downs. Um, we just have to stay ready. Like that's that's what we've been telling each other. No matter how many bodies we have, we have to stay ready. Um, we have a great group of girls. We um, we're starting to like play better together and, and find our find our groove, find our chemistry on the court. And once we get to clicking, it, you know, we're a scary group. We're a scary group. So we just we just no matter what happens, we just have to be ready. I know I said that like a thousand times, but that's just what it is. <laughs> Thanks for the time, Shay. Congrats on the win. Thank you.